Before I start, I just want to tell you that the image that I'm working on today is from the Buns Artist Edition, and the paper is actually 110 pound uncoated cardstock. Hi, it's Dia. So, for this month of June, I'm doing a giveaway with, let me see if I can get this in the screen. 72 platinum soft core colored pencils. So I thought it would be fun since my last two videos had neons and highlighters. I thought it would kind of be cool to see if I could use this 72 set of platinum pencils and achieve nice bright results. Now I started with this little pomegranate and I can't tell you what colors they are because the platinum set doesn't have a number or a color written on it but I I still wanted to use them like I said because I I am doing a giveaway and I wanted to see how bright the results could actually be I'm not going to follow typical colors. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to try to go off the beaten path here and see with this picture. I don't I don't think I'm going to finish it today. But I want to get an idea if these colors are anywhere near as bright as first of all Prismacolor pencils because I know those are a favorite of colorists and um, uh, any kind of artist. Um, they're, they're professional grade and they're known for being super creamy and to have super bright colors. So as I was trying out these pencils I was pretty amazed that th this set of 72 pencils had such bright pigmented colors. Now, I can't say they're as bright as the Prismacolors, but I have to say they're, they're, they're really nice. They're pigmented. They're creamy. They're not, once again, not as creamy as the Prismas, but nothing to complain about, especially for, wait a minute, let me think about this. Okay, they were 72 pencils and they were, they were $14.99. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to look to see how much 72 Prisma colors, but I can almost guarantee that they're not $14.99. Now, that being said, I'm not bashing Prisma colors in any way because I really like them. But not everybody can afford them. And yes, they do have specials occasionally where you can get the, the 150 set for less than $80 but it's not often. All right, let's see. Mm. You know, this idea of using these strange colors, not that they're strange, but they're strange for pomegranates and this area, came from a song by the B-52s called Planet Claire. And that song always inspired me to think outside the box and in the beginning of the song, they said, Planet Claire has pink air. And I think then they say, and all the trees are red. And it gave me, it gave me such a, a bunch of cool ideas. And it made me, it made me want to do things differently back when it first came out and still today. So. Although there's no really, there, there's no trees in this picture necessarily, there are cattails and there's punks. And yes, I wanted to show 
the greens over there. So I guess I kind of added a little bit of ordinary in there, but I don't think I'm going to do all of them green because I want to get some of that B-52 feeling in there. So using these, I have to say, I like them, like I've said in other videos, but I wish they had, I wish they had numbers or letters. So like I did for the Guanghui pencils, I'm gonna make a color chart. It might take me a little bit because I've got a lot going on right now, but I will make a color chart and I'll make it available on my Dia Lenahan coloring gallery site in, in Facebook. And I hope if you're not a member there, I hope you join because I love to see, I love to. I was so excited with this next part. As you could tell, the phone died. Well, the phone didn't really die. The phone officially ran out of space, so I just had to spend some time getting rid of videos. Um, and I just, I was so excited to show you this sort of watermelon looking pomegranate. So I guess we'll have to go from there. What I did was use some pink in here a bit of a darker pink to give those pomegranate seeds some shape. And I used the lightest, I don't know what this is, I guess a turquoise color. But before I did that, I made some lines and then went right over the top with this really nice bright turquoise and then I took a darker turquoise colored here and also went over here to make it look like there was a shadow so you still get the idea so so far I think these colors like I said before are really nice they're bright they're pigmented, they're relatively smooth, and I'm really enjoying this whole process. And, oh, you know what? I'll finish these little seeds that are on the ground. Once again, not being perfectly neat. Oh, this seed has already got the shape cut into it. And this is kind of like a, a tomato-y red. And I'm thinking about doing that for the ground. I don't want to regret this though. Let me think about this. So far, these have been very cool colors. This one is a little warmer. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I don't want to do another normal color, meaning like I don't want to make the ground brown or um, green. You know what? Let's do another experiment here. Another one of those reverse kind of things. <clears throat> I'm going to take this. A signal. Let me just make sure this is in. Right. Yep. Signo Univall, and I'm going to, should I make grass or should I make some unusual shapes? Let's see. You know what, maybe there would be, I kind of gave indications over here that it would be sandy, see if I can make some patterns 
with this white. Now, obviously you can't see this now. And of course you can do this with a regular sand color, although I don't think I'm gonna go in there with a sand shade. Now when I first put these down, you can really see that they're wet. And then the ones I did over here are already drying and they're getting a little flatter. Now I've never done this before, so if this is a bust, you're gonna you're gonna see the bust with me. I've gone over the top of things, like we did over here a little bit to show the reflection. Okay, that's good for now. And then let's let that dry. I kind of wish this was live right now so I could ask you so we could kind of do this together. Let's see, you know what, this is a, a kind of a neat um, plummy purple. Let's just see what happens. I know it's similar to this and this, but I kind of, I like that idea. You know what I think? I'm literally just scratching those little white. Oh, you know what? Some of them are showing. Yeah, this didn't work wonderfully. I'm kind of just scratching them off. Well, a couple of them showed. Or maybe I just didn't. Maybe I didn't let it. Oh, wait a minute. Are they showing? Very lightly. Huh. I'm just going to speed the rest of this coloring process up and go over it maybe a little bit more intensely and just see how it ends up. Okay, so some of them do just pop right off. And I've not really been pushing very hard. Because I didn't want to completely clean them off. Hmm. But as I'm pushing a little harder now, they're showing up a little better. Okay, so if you're gonna do that, it's more of, it comes out more like a texture versus a pure white dot, which is kind of cool because then I'm thinking you can go over the top with the same pencil again, I'm sorry, with the same pen again and you'll get much more intense results. Let's see. So then you'll have both kinds. Yeah, if you do it with this on top of the whole thing, then it is pure white. <clears throat> okay, let's do a little bit of a shadow. Oops. Oh, here's some purples that I haven't used yet. This is nice. Ooh, 
little tiny shadow underneath these little seeds. So, as a final thought, yep, you can definitely get very nice bright colors from this set. These are definitely not typical colors that you would choose for an, an average seaside scene, but I wanted to choose the colors that were brighter and just see if you could actually get some nice um, vibrant images, and I would say you definitely can. I'm just going over the top a little bit. So that's it for now. I just wanted to, like I said, see how vibrant this set could be. And yes, you can get some nice colors. You can get some nice pigment um, for $14.99, definitely worth it. So once again, if you've watched this, you probably know that I'm doing a platinum giveaway right now. I will put the link below and there are four different ways to sign up and enter that giveaway for June. Um, it ends on July 1st and I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Nope, that's probably it for now. So I hope you hit subscribe. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. You might want to hop over to my Facebook page, DLN Hand Coloring Gallery, if you're a member there also. Wonderful. And if you are a member here and there, please refer somebody and then you can enter the contest. So that's it for now. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you see the link below and enter my giveaway. And I will see you again later this week. I have one more video this week. So thank you again. See you soon. Bye. Okay, P.S. A little bit to add to the end of this video. I went back to make a thumbnail and I realized that I had colored, well, I put the dots over here and look, if you let the dots dry longer, they really show up. So that's my suggestion. Do it and walk away for a few minutes and then come back because it really works well once it's dry. So that's it. Okay, I'll see you all soon. Bye.